Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of The Last Hundred Yards, Volume 2, Airborne Over Europe. Uh, this is by Mike Denson, released by GMT Games. Uh, it was officially released, I think, last year or very early this year. It bears a 2020 copyright date. Um, but it originally was supposed to release uh, with the hard uh, mounted maps, and they originally got out with uh, they accidentally shipped them paper maps, and so they held up they held up new shipments until the maps were corrected. They've now been corrected. Those who previously ordered got an upgrade kit, and then everybody else, the orders are starting to flow. So this is, as stated, volume two in the last hundred yards series. It's an innovative um, tactical skirmish World War II game. Uh, I believe the first one took place on the Eastern Front with the Germans and the Russians, and this one is obviously over Europe with the airborne uh, divisions and um, takes place there, brings the same system there. This is one of those systems where you, the last hundred rule, the last, the last hundred yards is a, uh, a rule system that then applies to these modules, uh, whereas they call it volume one. I believe the designer actually refers to them as modules one and two, and they're working on a third one, I believe. So crack it open, see what you get in this particular edition, and uh, we'll take a quick look. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. So one thing I like here about the, uh, I, I liked about the original Last 100 Yards, and I'll put a link to the uh, unboxing of that version uh, in, in the video. Uh, that one's out of print now, and they're working on a, on a reprint. Um, is the is the geomorphic maps the smaller maps that that build up you're not worried about any truly historic um uh wow topography but more of symbolic uh makes it a lot easier to uh to get to the table wow this is a tight tight fitting jeans fit box jeans. all right so here we go so here we go. So, obviously right on top is the replacements. So all they did was they ordered uh, the fixed maps and apparently some Murata counters in the process. So they just attached that to what they already had um, and got it shipped over. So we will take a look at the Arata pack first because those of you who, can, who already own the game now when I say mounted, they're actually just firm maps similar to Band of Brothers. Um, you know, the thick card card mat. So we have some counters here. Looks like uh, the Germans got the brunt of some errors. All right, little counter sheet. And then the cardboard maps are here. I'm interested to see if they included the, um, normally we get down to the maps at the bottom, so maybe uh, they included the paper maps as well, we'll see. So these are geomorphic, they're double-sided. And we'll take a look at some of the different ones here. The artwork on it is really good. It's a, it's a good hybrid of uh, uh, artistic yet functional and clear. I do like that. I do like that they put the center dot in each hex, a lot of games do, and then you'd be surprised how many games don't. So when you're doing line of sight, it's a little hard to, to factor in. So we have a small town, wooded area, nice big wooded area here. I assume that they're numbered relative to the first set. So that was map 19 and 23. Here we have 18. This river runs through it here, 18 and 22. It looks like they've got them mostly um, aligned so that where they cut off, you can see the dot, which is roughly the center of the hex. This one has a little more on the side of it, but so when you piece them together, they're pretty much going to make hexes on both sides. So, so the other side, there's another river. 
another river hex or river uh, map so I'm not sure how they handle roads um, sometimes with geomorphic maps you don't have the roads you know your roads just dead end at a, at a hex edge um, but it looks like they try to compensate for that you'll see here at the bottom of this and this and this map the roads go there and then at the top of this one they come into kind of the same hexes so maybe they plan the battles in such a way that the maps go together that way go ahead just take a look at all of them real quick oh it's a nice big lake lake with some islands in there i don't know if that's passable terrain we'll learn more as we go a nice big town village Got dirt roads coming in, paved roads inside. Very cool. And the last map. So this starts with 13 and goes through 24. So there are the replacement maps if you've not seen them. So now we go into the playbook. Again, nice artwork, historic artwork um, with the airborne. Uh, getting ready for battle here. So this playbook includes rule examples and examples of play. Uh, again, with GMT, what you get in a playbook, sometimes is the, like in Combat Commander, the playbook was the scenarios, and in other ones it's examples of play. So in this case, it appears to be uh, some examples, extended examples, and the designer notes. Again, the, the wonderful GMT quality, the matte paper, full color, well printed. Um, and it's nice to have such graphic examples of some of the different, maybe harder to understand rules. Which will give you that. And on the back we have a compatibility table. All right, then we've got the series rules. Now this is version 1.1. .1. I believe they may have even gone ahead and updated this recently to version 1.2 uh, in the living rules that you can download. Uh, I'm not sure if they give a errata or a change list of what changed. So you can just mark up your copy or if you need to just print a new one. But this, again, even though it says Airborne Over Europe, it is the series last 100 yards rules. So uh, you would then apply this to the first volume and later volumes will probably have modified the series rules as well. Um, didn't note the page count here. This is a 36 page book. This also is a 36 page book. And starts from the beginning. Always helpful uh, describe, describing the counters. And then moving forward into the different components. And then on into the rules. So the series rules um, let's see, usually you get to an advanced or optional rules. So the rules go about 27 pages and then you get into how to set up a mission winning the game and then the optional rules are at the end. So, uh, it looks like there is some, there is some stuff to learn. Uh, a lot of, a lot of dense text here in these. So, um, can't speak to how well they're written. I know he's very vocal on, Mike Denson's very vocal in the, gaming community over on uh, uh, Consum World um, and helps out helps out there a lot. So uh, I'm sure if you have any questions, you can ask him. And we've got five sheets of counters. Looks like four full and one half. So there's some armor, some artillery, and then some these counters intentionally left blank. Seem pretty well registered. They're the standard uh, punch out uh, and then you know or slightly cut out punch out counters um, so the usual that is actually pretty thick these are nice the newer kind of GMT thicker counters punch kind of cleanly um, but you definitely could round them with the uh, organ laminations 2.5 millimeter corner rounder deluxe corner rounder uh, or or just punch them cleanly and, and leave them intact they don't seem to have a lot of stray hairs on them um, so we'll look at these other sheets here. So we do get the paper maps if you want those. Um, so five sheets of counters. Sheet one, looks like mostly American, some French. Oop, 
and they self-punching. They want to come out really easily, so that's nice. Uh, looks like they got a clean cut here. So here we have uh, two different levels of Germans, three different levels of Germans. We've got dark gray, light gray, and a blue group. And now we've got sheet three is some markers, various numeric values. It's interesting they made these square markers with a round circle instead of making them just circle markers. But, you know, once you have the punch, you know, get the die set, you just use the die. Because they use it the same one here. They didn't use it for that one because of different sizes. Anyway, sheet four is right here. More markers, a few more. So smoke markers, uh, uh, foxhole markers, fire action markers, some of your main counters. All right, so now I'm not going to go through the paper maps, but you get the paper versions of the maps as well. So if you're a Plexi fan, the others would work as well with Plexi because they're not that thick, but you do get the paper versions. They had them. They don't need them, and they sent them to you anyway. So a really big battlefield. All right, so we also have a time track going here. Casualty attack, time track, sequence of play, reminder, random event table, fate table, coordination table. I like how it refers to the rule section if you need to go refer to that. So that's nice. So here's a player aid card. Seems like there's only one. There may be one buried. Usually there's one for each player. Uh, and this covers the activation phase, reaction phase, mandatory actions, assault procedures, and mortar fire procedure. So that's cool. And now, very, very nice, we have the missions on cardstock which is the best way to do this because then you know if you put them in the playbook then you gotta photocopy them or take them out or sit there with a big floppy open playbook so um one two three four five double-sided missions is ten missions and they are also numbered sequ in sequence based on the first game, I believe. So we have 13, 14, 15, 16. And we have a, you know, this shows the map that you're using. Like this is a single map. This one uses a single map, which is nice. Single map, single map. And then we get into this one here that uses six of those maps. And they do have them connected together where the roads do connect. So that's a little, lot of good forethought on the designer's part. There's a two map. And then we've got a three map on landscape. And then, then back to a single map oh, with some flooded areas. So it reduces some of the map. And then Geronimo, which is a six map mission. And then Black Friday, which is a three map mission. So. Very cool. Then we've got the combat tables, and this they have two copies of. So we have it's the GMT, you know, double, double sided, double folded, glossy cardstock. You know, the standard great quality that we get. Um, as for content, don't know if it's great quality. It looks it looks pretty good. We got the terrain effects, blind hexes, your stacking limits, rules, maneuver points, concealment laws, a lot of this. Necessary charts, uh, assault resolution, vehicle destruction, small arms fire, to anti tank fire, mortar fire. So, you know, all your fire ones are on the front. So, you get two of those, one for each player, obviously. So, that's good news. And then we've got dice. So, we come down to it, and that's, that's it. And we have a variety of dice. We have, let's see, three ten sided, four ten sided, and two six sided. And they do. They do, they do, they do. They're old well. Look at that. Five, six, seven, eight, five, and six. Yahtzee. Or small straight, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway, if you pick up a copy now of The Last Hundred Yards, Volume 2, Airborne Over Europe, you are going to get six dice. Um, two copies of the combat tables. Five, or ten missions on five double-sided cards. 
off like that, you're going to get one player aid card with some rule summaries, the game tracks fold out card. You're going to get now, you're also going to get the paper version of six double sided maps for 12 maps total. You're going to get five counter sheets, four full size, one half size. You're going to get the series rule book, the playbook with designer notes and rule explanations. You're also going to now get in the upgrade or in the fixed version, you're going to get the six cardstock maps, six of those double sided, double width. Uh, for 12 maps total, and a sheet of replacement counters, and a cool bag that you can recycle into something else. So, that is everything that comes into Last 100 Yards Volume 2, Airborne Over Europe. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!